Year brings new laws in Illinois, and at the same time, an old problem persists. The temporary budget lawmakers agreed on has expired. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more on some rules to pay attention to and an issue that's about to gain greater attention. With the momentum of a train barreling down the tracks, new laws roll into Illinois for the new year. Guess how many new laws? 23. 100. Nearly 200. What? <laughs> Seriously? That includes fines for drivers who maneuver around railroad crossings. If the gate is down and you're caught, it could mean up to a $500 fine for a first offense. Oh, I'm about to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. In the wake of fatal viral videos, driving instructors are now required to teach students how to react if they're pulled over. Hairdressers and others applying for or to renew state licenses will now undergo domestic violence or sexual assault training. It is intended to help clients in need of help. Feeling that there's a place to talk to and how to handle those situations, I think that's important. All of our partners are very much affected. State social services are bracing for 2017, including those helping women get cervical and breast cancer screenings. The temporary budget fix from Springfield expired, as did their state funding. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. I found it early. It's why I'm sitting here. Bonnie Gordon of Susan G. Komen Chicago says dozens of agencies they work with are already dealing with backlogs for mammograms. Many will see those wait lists grow longer without a budget fix. She adds waiting on that could prove deadly. Women can wait weeks and months to even get a screening mammogram. That just shouldn't be. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Some fear a budget may not be reached until 2019. The last time lawmakers scheduled a meeting on the issue was early December. Her name